Hi Legal Writing students! Our next video is going to be an introduction to statutes. Look in your Legal Research Workbook pages 7 to 13 to see the materials we're going to cover, but we're going to cover the legislative history stuff in a, uh, in a later video. So legislate, or statutes means legislation passed by the legislature, such as the U.S. Congress, such as the Ohio legislature or the legislature of other states. As you probably know, you start off with a bill, the bill is passed, it becomes an act, and then the different parts of the act are arranged topically into something called a code. This process is called codification of statutes. Don't worry too much about that at, at this point, but what we're going to be working with at the moment is at the actual codified statutes. Now the codified statutes are codes. Those are the statutes as currently in force. There's the United States Code that has the federal statutes, and there's the Ohio Revised Code that has the Ohio statutes. Okay, so the United States Code, this is a view of the United States Code Annotated, which is on Westlaw Next. You can see that the United States Code is arranged by titles, and the titles pertain to different subjects. For example, Title Seven is Agriculture, Title Eleven is Bankruptcy, Title 17 is copyrights, and on and on it goes. Title 50 is war and national defense, and there's, I believe there's 53 titles altogether now. Okay, that's the U.S. Code. Here's how you would cite to a U.S. Code. The first uh, number there is the title, for example, that's Title 35. USC just means United States Code, Section 123 and then that's the section number. Okay, here's the Ohio Revised Code, kind of a similar setup. It's arranged by different titles and each title has to do with a different subject. For example, we have Title 23 is Common Pleas Courts, Title 31 is Domestic Relations, Title 39 is Insurance, Title 41 deals with Labor and Industry, and on and on and on it goes. So on Lexis and Westlaw, the codes that you're going to find there are annotated codes. You can also find these codes on the internet for free, but they are unannotated, meaning it just has the text of the statute as the legislator wrote it. What the annotated codes have in addition is they have summaries of cases that interpret that particular statute. So it can be a real, real handy thing when you're researching a statute like you're going to do for your second memo that you're going to write for a le for your legal writing class. Okay, for example, here's a screenshot of Westlaw Next, and we have 42 United States Code Annotated, Section 2000E-2, and this is the section of the code which deals with unlawful employment practices saying that you can't discriminate against somebody in employment, you know, based on uh, race, color, religion, sex, or a national origin. So there's the statute, and then if you click on the tab that says Notes of De Decisions, you see um, up here, Notes of Decisions, that was the document back here, the actual text of the statute. Under Notes of Decisions, they, this is where you're going to have your case summaries. And as you can imagine, there's lots and lots and lots and lots of cases dealing with employment discrimination. So say you were only interested in a certain subject, you were only interested in, say, national origin discrimination, and what, what does that mean, national origin discrimination? So you could kind of look at this little outline, and the outline goes into more detail, but here I find that notes of decision number 50 has summaries of cases dealing with national origin. So this is a great way to find cases that analyze your particular statute and it even pinpoints it to a certain topic that you're interested in dealing with that statute. So uh, just so you know, Lexis and Westlaw have different um, editors of them. So these case notes, the cases in the case notes might be different cases. The way they're written is definitely going to be different because there's different people writing it. So if you're doing really, really in-depth research on a statute, you might want to look at the case notes in both Lexis and Westlaw. And it's also important to know that, you know, not every single case is going to be listed in the case annotations. Not every single case dealing with that statute is going to be listed. So you still might need to do some additional research beyond those case annotations. Okay, so in our next video we're going to um, cover researching statutes on Westlaw, and then the next one we're going to look at uh, researching statutes on Lexis. 
please look at both of the, these videos. Don't think, oh, well, I'm fine. I'll just use Westlaw and I'm going to ignore Lexus. Well, that's not going to work for our session on Saturday. And you really need to learn both Lexus and Westlaw. All right, that's it for now.